Today we're discussing the textures for cyber faces. So you'll need to know how to extract the face.if file. You'll already need to know how to do this. Uh, I may or may not have a tutorial on that already, but you need to know how to do that before messing around with this. All right, so we have the face.if file and I've opened up 7-zip to view. I'm looking inside my modded folder. I double click on my face.if file and you see this file here. It says face underscore color underscore or has some other stuff. But when I double click that, it opens up for me because I'm using this program here. And this program is called Woody's Texture Viewer. It allows you to see the .dds files. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm able to double click this and have it open up and preview for me. So you guys can Google that, search for that on the Internet, um, and you'll be able to view the previews of the DDS files. As you can see at the bottom has some information. DXT5 has the size, has the number of MIP maps. Um, all of that information will be relevant when we open this up in Photoshop. What I've done now is I've I dragged the the file over to my desktop and I am going to open up Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. I'm going to open it up in in that so I'm just gonna drag it over here to Photoshop and it has some questions for me um, I just want to load the transparency as an alpha layer I click that box click OK all right so as you can see I have the picture now loaded up here the texture this is the texture for the face that I want to manipulate this texture and when I click on channels over here you can see the channel um, the alpha channel is not selected, but I'm selecting and unselecting it. So basically everything that's black in the alpha channel, uh, will not have the, the lighting effects of the arena or the sweat effects either. So basically anything for your face that has hair needs to be black in your alpha layer. Okay. Unless, unless it's like a real low haircut then it doesn't have to be black but um moving on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna apply some color over this texture and all i want to do is i want to show you guys i'm doing this just so i can show you guys how this stuff will appear in game uh, so when i go to save this now this is what you need to pay attention to when you go to save this file, there's two type of DDS files, and I don't so I don't want to use the Intel DDS version. I want to go to there's an Nvidia.dds version, which is this one here. It says D3D slash DDS. That's what I want to save it as. So I go to save, click OK. And then it's gonna give me some options here. So what I want to do is I want to Go down, select DXT5 with the interpolated, interpolated um, alpha. And then make sure you have generate mint map selected. And where it has that number, don't type in any numbers. Select it from a drop down list. So you want to select 11 and save. All for faces, it'll always be 11. So basically, it's it generated 11 mip maps for this and i'm not going to go into detail about what mip maps is and all of that uh, i just want to show you guys how to properly save your face textures and then show you the face textures in game so okay so here's my save dds file Let's see uh, that's what it looks like so now i'm going to drag it back inside of the face.if file that i have opened in 7-zip so i drag it back over there I clicked yes on the little box, um, on the little prompt message or whatever it is. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at this in game. All right, let's get off of this. Uh, right here, this is something I was working on. Um, this is actually a 2K17 Cyberface that, uh, 2K17 Cyberface that I converted over to 2K18. So we just recently figured out how to convert cyber, the old cyber faces to work with the new game. 
from 2K17 to work with 2K18. So I was just doing some testing on that. All right, so let's back out of that. Let's go and load up a roster that has the face texture that I was working on and I just saved. So basically all I want to do is make sure I save the, all I'm doing is making sure I save the texture correctly. All right. Let's go to edit player. Okay. So yeah, I saved it correctly. As you can see, this is my version of Zion Williamson. If you guys want this, let me know. Of course, without the green face or whatever. But anyway, so you can see the green is applied to the face. That's what it looks like. That's how you know you saved it correctly. So let's go manipulate the texture some more. Let's see. Um, so I'm going to do something. I want to put someone else's face facial texture over this facial texture so I'm just right now I'm trying to find where I saved where I saved some of the facial textures as just as non DDS files alright here we go so I'm gonna find somebody alright got Brandon Ingram alright I'm gonna drag Brandon Ingram's face over then gonna do some manipulation just kind of erase some of the areas so that you guys can see what it'll look like if I swap out a, a face for a different face so I want to keep the hair the same Now the colors on this face don't exactly match up, but that's okay because you can you guys can manipulate that in different ways. And I'll show you a little bit later in this video how you can like manipulate the lights and darks. Alright, so I've got the nose as green, just I don't know why. Alright, again, we're saving as this DDS type. Make sure all of our settings are what we want them to be. They should be the same as what they were before. Click save. All right, once it saves, I'm going to minimize this Photoshop. I'm sorry if you guys hear noise in the background. I just had to go ahead and record the audio. Yeah, so. All right, so I'm dragging this DDS file back into the face.if. See? So I just showed you that I. I drag the DDS file back over. All right, so I'm going away from Zion Williamson and scrolling over other players so his face can refresh. All right, so now this is what it looks like. It looks a bit different. As you can see on the side, he has some facial hair. And the facial hair is not, it's kind of a little bit blurry and does not stand out because the alpha layer is not correct. The alpha layers should have black everywhere there is everywhere that there is hair. But anyway, you guys get the gist of what just happened. You see, I swapped out the facial texture. And you guys might be saying, why is he darker than Brandon Ingram? Because I use Brandon Ingram's face, but you have to remember the base skin tone for this player is not controlled by the texture it's actually controlled by a different file file called appearance info dot r date r d a t for our data or whatever so that's why he appears darker than brandon ingram would normally be um let's do some manipulation again so I can show you guys a few more things. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm looking for image adjustments and curves. All right, so this is how you can make, you know, one of the layer text, um, one of the layers like brighter or darker to kind of match up the skin tone with the base layer. So I'm just gonna save this just for the sake of testing in game I'm gonna save it just like this 
and let's see what it looks like when we pull it up in game let's drag this save dds file back over inside of the face.if file all right let's see Mm, actually, I don't even think, I don't think I, ch I don't know. I need to scroll away because I need the cyber face to refresh, but I, I don't think it showed me what I actually wanted it to show me. So let's do a little more manipulation. All right, this time, let's see. Let's manipulate it to be darker. And then I'm just going to um, now I'm just going to mess around with stuff. Basically, this whole video is just to show you is mostly to show you, you know, some simple manipulations just so you get the idea of how to mess around with the texture file and save it properly and how you can go back and forth and view it in game while testing your texture. So I'm showing you some different options like here, we're messing with the hue slash saturation. And you guys have to get used to doing this stuff like playing around and testing this stuff on your own so that you know what it does when you really are focused in on making a real texture. Now I probably need to, uh, again, don't forget to, I almost forgot to drag the DDS file back inside of the face.if file using 7-zip. See, I, I keep clicking out to show you that I dragged it inside of the face if file. And then I scroll away from Zion Williamson through a couple players, then I scroll back to him the face refreshes and there you can see this is what the texture this is the texture that I just made in Photoshop where it looks all crazy all this stuff this is just this is um, basic showing you just how the face can look different just manipulating the texture manipulating the texture like uh, when I first was learning how to mess with cyber faces, I had to keep doing little stuff like little tests like this just to see like, okay, if I make the face lighter, what will it look like in game? Or if I make the texture darker, what will it look like in game? Because sometimes it doesn't show up exactly how you think it will. Alright, what am I going to do here? Um, Alright, right here, I want to, I'm going to just make the face completely white for the texture and I'm going to show you that things don't always work out exactly like you think so I'm going to save it again save it as the the proper DDS file the settings should be the same as you see on the screen save it so the texture is all white but watch this when I open up the if, face if drag my DDS file into it when I go in game so let me back out let me scroll away through a couple of players scroll back to him let his face refresh okay so as you can see his face is not actually completely white because as i described earlier in the video he has a base skin tone that is brownish and that base skin tone which you see here on the face that's his base skin tone he'll never be completely white his base skin tone is controlled by a different file it's not controlled by a texture at all Okay, so remember that. So if if you're messing around, it's controlled by the appearance info, which is also inside uh well that's inside of the png.if. So if you if you're messing with a player that has a dark base skin tone, he's never gonna be extremely light. It's not gonna happen. He's always gonna have a brown tint. 